DNA testing can determine where in Africa our forebears were from. Among those using the test to trace their family's past, Spike Lee, Oprah Winfrey, and actor Isaiah Washington, one of the stars of Grey's Anatomy. Brother Washington, with your mitochondrial DNA, it's quite common among the Mende and Temne people in Sierra Leone. Yeah! <laughs> about young African Americans growing up thinking that the history started with slavery. I mean, how do you think that that impacts their psyche? We, we went through slavery, we didn't start with slavery. To Vi Higginson, the prospect of tracing even a tiny fraction of her ancestry back to Africa was enthralling. 60 Minutes sent her DNA to African ancestry, as well as to several other genetic genealogy companies, to see what they could tell us about Vi's maternal lineage. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Kittle's company sent Vi what they call a certificate of ancestry. Oh, my God. It says oh God. that you share maternal genetic ancestry with people from the Mendy tribe in Sierra Leone. Do you know anything about Sierra Leone or no. the Mendy people? No. Nothing. People have been waiting a lifetime for something like this. Now, this is just a tiny bit of information now. But they take it as huge. Right, because it's cracking open the door that was closed for centuries. There's a place in Africa, you could say, that I'm from. A tribe. A, a tribe. I am thrilled. It puts a name, a place, a location, a people. It opens up such possibilities. But the problem is, Sierra Leone wasn't the only answer Vi got. A company called Relative Genetics found a match to a single person in the Wobi tribe in the Ivory Coast. Different? Different. Now, I got all excited about that, and uh -huh. this is different? Mm -hmm. Now, how could that happen? Then a third company, Trace Genetics. Your particular sequence matches sequences reported among multiple uh-oh Mendanka individuals in Senegal. What's up with this? And Family Tree so DNA, the company that linked Vi with Marion in the first place, came up with a whole list of matches. This goes on and on. And that's the rub. This business of genetic genealogy is fraught with limitations. For one thing, it can only provide information about a tiny fraction of our ancestry. Because we get half our DNA from our mothers and half from our fathers, almost all of our DNA gets shuffled and remixed every generation, making it impossible to trace what comes from whom. There are just two bits of DNA that remain pure. The Y chromosome, which passes directly from father to son, and something called mitochondrial DNA, which passes unchanged from mother to child. Hank Greeley, a law professor at Stanford University, has studied this new field. He worries that people don't realize just how many ancestors they actually have. Eight generations ago, both you and I had 256 great-great-great-great-great-great-grandparents. Wait, you're saying that if you go back eight generations, uh -huh. we have 256 great-great-great-great-grandparents? Yes, it doubles every generation. So you've got two parents, you have four grandparents, you have eight great-grandparents, 16 great-great-grandparents, and it adds up fast. It adds up so fast, in fact, that if you go back 20 generations, you've got over a million grandparents. 1,048,576, to be exact. And in each generation, DNA testing can provide information about only two of them. So you could be Peruvian on your mother's 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 side, Japanese on your father's 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 <laughs> side, Swedish on everything else. <laughs> and you'll uh, never know. And you'll never know the Swedish from the Y chromosome oh or the God. mitochondrial DNA. Now you've looked at several of these companies that are doing these tests. Yes. Do you think that they explain what you just explained to us? No. Uh, I don't think any of them does as good a job of pointing out the limitations. But you know, businesses often don't go around telling you how weak their product businesses is. Businesses often don't go around telling you how weak their product is. We don't oversell. I mean, we just say, look, we provide a service. If you're interested in exploring a tiny bit of your DNA and trace its ancestry, we can do that. When you say it's a tiny little amount? It's less than 0.1%.